welcome to the Watch Watch. Today we'll be looking at the Nomos Club Campus Neomatic 39mm. Nomos is a German watch manufacturer based in a small town called Glasuta. Nomos are proud of Glasuta's 175 years history in watchmaking, and rightly so, as it hosts some of the most prestigious watchmakers on the planet, including, of course, the world renowned Erlangensunner. Whilst Nomos are very keen to celebrate Glasuta's heritage, they were actually only founded in 1990, making them a relatively new player to the game. Despite this, over the past 30 years they have become the largest manufacturer of mechanical timepieces in Germany. Nomos are clearly influenced by the iconic Bauhaus design movement, which began over 100 years ago. Bauhaus championed a geometric, abstract and minimalist style which continues to influence so many of the design choices that we see in the world today. To learn more about Bauhaus, feel free to check out the link in the description. There you will find a great video all about Nomos and Bauhaus, explaining it far better than I ever could. So, with a brief history of Nomos out of the way, let's get into the specs of the watch in front of us. This watch is a 39.5mm case, standing at 8.4mm tall, making it a relatively small case and very thin in comparison to most automatic watches. Lying beneath the anti-reflective sapphire crystal glass sits a white silver-plated California dial, with galvanised Arabic and Roman numerals coated in a blue superluminova. Reporting the time are two rhodium plated hour and minute hands with a white superluminova inlay. At the 6 o'clock mark, we also have our sub seconds counter, and around the outside of the dial, we have individual minute markers and numbered indices on each five minute interval. Powering this piece is Nomos's fully in house built calibre, the DUW 3001. The DUW 3001 is a brilliant showcase of Nomos's capability when it comes to producing a fully in-house automatic movement which is both highly accurate and incredibly thin, coming in at just 3.2mm tall. The DUW 3001 carries a power reserve of up to 43 hours, a bi-directional rotor, tempered blue screws, rhodium plated surfaces and some absolutely stunning finishing which makes the sapphire crystal case back a must have option for me. Slotted into the 20mm wide lugs with handy quick release spring bars is the Nomos stainless steel bracelet. This bracelet was clearly designed with its partner in case in mind, as you can see by its incredibly slender profile. The bracelet is secured onto the wrist with a hook fastening clasp, its size is easily adjusted by lifting the clamp up and just sliding it along onto one of the lowered ridges on the underside of the bracelet. This bracelet is available in small and medium to accommodate for different wrist sizes and this reference watch is also available to purchase on the chunkier and heavier sport bracelet for an added cost which some may be tempted to buy if they prefer individually removable links or a deployment clasp. Finally the Club Campus features a fairly impressive 20 bar water resistance despite its lack of a screw and crown. So now we've gone through everything that you need to know about the watch, now we'll go through some of my thoughts, what I like, what I don't like and what I would love to have seen in this watch. Firstly, let's talk about the dial. The California dial with mixed Arabic and Roman numerals is definitely a topic of controversy. Some love it and some hate it. I personally love the presentation of the numerals and it's actually one of the reasons that I fell in love with the watch. I just wanted something a little bit different and this just, this just ticks that box. The silver plated white dial shows different sides of its character depending on the light that it finds itself in. In some situations it can be perceived as a plain white dial and in others it has an almost cream like colour to it. However, this dial really shows its detail and quality when the sun hits. The seemingly plain white dial reveals its silver side with a subtle grain like texture which almost sparkles in the sun and the deep blue numerals come to life and just transform into this bold blue that pops under the light. But when the light turns to dark, the hands glow a very pleasant bright blue, with the numerals also glowing in the background. Generally, the loom on the hands is pretty strong and easy to read, but the loom on the numerals don't glow quite so bright and I found it quite difficult to capture for this video. The sub seconds at 6 o'clock is a welcome feature for me. I usually prefer a big seconds hand, so I find there's something quite calming about watching a large sweeping seconds hand glide smoothly round, but on this occasion I feel that the small sub seconds hand is a perfect match for this dial. Now onto the case. When I first tried on this watch, I was amazed by how thin it is. The, the watch has such a fine profile and wears very comfortably. While some may feel that 39mm is, is slightly small, the longer lugs on the club definitely make it feel bigger than a 39 on the wrist. By the way, I'm not the most ideal person to model this watch. Uh, as you can probably see, my wrists are really thin, so it doesn't really accurately portray how it looks on, on most wrists, so just bear that in mind. 
When I was considering purchasing this watch, the one thing that I was very unsure about is the length of the lugs and the gap in between the case and the bracelet. I saw lots of pictures online of this watch and of other Nomos ones and, and the lugs are something that just really bothered me. But luckily when I tried it on, the long lugs didn't seem to bother me at all. They do admittedly take a little time to get used to, but they've very much grown on me. The riveted crown at the 3 o'clock position with the Nomos logo engraved offers some easy grip and very satisfying winding action. I must admit that even with a 20 bar water resistance, I'm always very nervous to go in water wearing a watch without a screwing crown, so this isn't one that I'll be wearing uh, by the pool on holiday. Flipping this watch over, the sapphire crystal case back allows us to really appreciate the DUW 3001 in all its glory. For me, the open sapphire case back option is, is pivotal for this piece and well worth the extra money. The finishing is excellent and the firmly heated blue screws adds a lovely touch of colour. The three quarter rotor lets us really appreciate all the finishing here. I could just I could just stare at this movement for days. The bracelet on this watch is a fairly simple design. It has 11 or so adjustment positions and is generally very well made and feels comfortable. The bracelet looks clean and sleek and pairs very nicely with this case, undeterred by its brush finishing in comparison to the case's polished finishing. One thing that I don't like about this bracelet is that when putting it on, it does tend to scratch the underside of itself when wrapping it around the wrist. I found scratches on the bracelet after a day of owning this watch. This isn't a huge deal as scratches are on parts that you can't see when wearing the watch, but it's a little frustrating to see when you take off the watch, especially so soon after buying it. The hook style polished clasp feels secure, though I must admit I do prefer a deployment clasp and this is going to be an absolute scratch magnet. Throughout a month of wear, I found this to be the most accurate automatic watch I own. My other automatics tend to need a slight adjustment after a week or two, but the Club Campus Neomatic doesn't seem to miss a beat. So far, I'm very impressed with the timekeeping. So what would I have loved to have seen in this watch, and what would I like to see from Nomos movements in the future? Well, for the price of this watch and what it offers, I can't really expect much else. It's a phenomenal overall package and is really impressive value for money when compared to some of its Swiss competition. And I'm always amazed by what they can achieve with such a small and um, thin case. However, what I think would really bring this watch to the next level would be a silicon hairspring to offer some sort of anti-magnetic resistance, a slightly longer power reserve, and maybe a chronometer certification of some, some sort, and even maybe a longer warranty period. Whilst two years is acceptable, it's definitely becoming more common to see five-year warranties and so on from watch manufacturers of in-house calibers. Again, this isn't necessarily what I expect from this price point, but it would be a great to see in the future from Nomos. Overall, I'm, I'm over the moon with this watch. It's a brilliant package, top build quality, attention to detail, bold design choices, and mouth-watering open case back, and they just tick all the boxes for me. This watch can be worn as a dress watch, as a casual watch, and a very reliable daily wearer. If you're thinking about delving into the world of Nomos, then uh, my advice to you would be do it. I can't recommend them enough. If you have any more questions about this watch or, or about the video, feel free to drop a comment in the comment box and I'll try my best to reply to it. So there you have it, the Nomos Club Campus Neomatic 39mm. Thank you for watching.